All right, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, let's talk about what we're playing with here, especially that bass fiber. Um, and I'm hoping I can show you some of it in this stuff. This is the undone, and I had like a major like moment with this stuff. It took about a teaspoon, yeah, about a teaspoon of of olive oil. Uh, not uh, no hemp hemp oil. Mm, not even olive oil would work. Um, hemp oil is like incredibly slippery stuff, and um, and it took a teaspoon of hemp oil, and I got to fix this because otherwise it'll get away from me here. You know? uh, sorry about that. I was trying to open it to where I can still hold it with one hand. Um, there we go. That's better. Let's see if I can zoom up on this for you. Get some of them. No. Um, how to say it? That green gooey looking stuff, that's the fiber. And the whiter stuff is the lignin. Let's see if it'll focus. And that is the, the, right there is a good spot of the lignin right there. Okay. Um, and that's the binder in this. That's what we were trying to remove um, by blending and, and all the rest of that jazz. But when we were um, breaking it down, and I mean we, like me and you, we were doing that live on the other videos, is the, I'm not crazy and like talking third person to myself kind of thing, is the, um, but the, I was using um, acid at the time. There's other things you can use. Um, uh, hydrogen peroxide's good you know, completely inert, it's just an oxidizer, but it'll break down the lignin, um, not, it won't do later on what I wanted the acid to do, so that's why I used the acid, and it worked, it worked out well, in the, um, for breaking it up into pulp, the, the farther that you blend that, that's one of the, the kind of like disclaimer warners that, warnings that I, um, wanted to, uh, talk to you about, let's back out so you can see more of that, is the, the more that you blend that pulp, um, it, you won't win. Guarantee you, now just get that right out your thinking. You can't blend that into submission. Um, it will keep expanding and expanding and expanding until it actually becomes a gel on its own. Um, if you want it to be at that consistency, then just keep on. Is um, I couldn't hardly work with it like this. Is What it is, is the um, as fine as it was getting is the bass fiber is one one hundredth of a human hair and twice as strong as steel by weight. So kind of put that into, into your way of thinking about this stuff. And that lignin that's in there, um, Gorilla Glue, y'all got to look into this stuff um, before you keep saying yours is the best unless this is where you're getting it from. And we, sh we won't say no more. Um, because this is the stickiest, the nastiest, glue pectin type glue that you can um gel whatever <laughs> um and when you compare it when you put that with a microfiber this this stuff is the uh what do you call that stuff the you have it in the inside of your pants teflon it's a teflon sheet and it had no problem sticking to it i mean like in in i it, i had to like literally ball it back up put it back in the pan start over um, clean what was on the sheet off with alcohol and paper towels and, and then oil the sheet and then start this process again. Um, it, it, it had no problem sticking to the, here, let me get over here. It had no problem sticking to the, um, to the silicone rubber in the wood. Well, the bamboo, you know, that would just be a given, but that silicone rubber, nah, that was on. I mean, it was like game on. Um, so Kind of consider what you're dealing with and clean your stuff up really quick. That, that thing will clean up easy. And it, it's a decom, it's, um, you just bury it in water and it'll break down. So, um, so we got no problem there. And, uh, the other bowl is so far, even the chickens like it is, is you crumble it up and that's compostable. And first, because it's 23%, um, protein, that's all we're dealing with. We're not dealing with anything so far. That's not consumable. Um, I can't pronounce the aromic. It's the vinegar acid. Is um, 
but that's what we started with. And then we had the, the citric acid to help break down the lignans and, um, and control the pectins and did a nice job pulping out the, pulping out the fiber. Um, and that's what we were after. And then those same things, those same acids, when it comes into the seed is that's the plasticizer is it's knocking off, you know, it's the, um, it, I don't know how to say it. It looked like that with a leg here and a leg there, you know, off the main body. And it's knocking off the, those legs to make it, um, like a, a monomer, I guess is what you call it. Uh, and I mean, that is what you call it, but you know, like a string is what I'm saying to, um, to give it its, you know, the plastic ability. Cause it's, it's quite plastic now, you know what I'm saying? Um, and it's moldable, nice, easy, but it took the hemp oil to control that because the first go around, if you touched it and you pulled your finger back, it would just like pull it out like taffy. You, you could never get away from it. Um, but it took the hemp oil to manage it and hopefully it won't, you know, I'm going to not layer it up. The first one, it'll, I'll press out an, uh, another bowl and, and cast it. And then I'll take what's left over because it's going to have a lot of that oil set saturation and homogeneously remix it and then cast one more bowl and see what we get on that. Okay. Is, um, we'll talk to you then and appreciate all y'all support. And, um, so, you know, definitely, a a thumbs up and, and, um, and, and I appreciate it all more than, you know, okay. Talk to you.